my son will not be growing up low income like I did. And I mean, that's what you want, right? As the generations go by, each generation gets more financially secure. But that being said, there's always this concern that they're gonna grow up to be like this privileged kid that doesn't understand the value of the things that they have. And instead of guilting him and saying, oh, well, when I was growing up, I didn't have X, Y, Z, so this is why you should be grateful. I am trying a different approach. My approach with him, a four-year-old, is to teach him how to share. That's where the story of this lollipop comes in. I nearly cried when I saw this sitting on my desk when I came home from work. My husband told me that today they went to get him a haircut and at the end of the haircut, the haircut person asked him if he wanted two lollipops. My husband said that he looked at the person and said, can I have three? The haircut lady was a little hesitant, looked at dad for approval and then said, okay, you can have three. My son grabbed three root beer flavored lollipops and said, uno para mama, uno para papa y uno para mi. He understood that he could have two lollipops, one for himself and one for his dad, but he also knew that someone else in his life is very important to him and he wanted to make her happy. So what did he do? He thought about me. He lugged this little lollipop through the hair salon on his ride home on the bike trailer, through our house and onto my desk so that he could add happiness into my life. He didn't see two lollipops and thought two for me. And he didn't ask for three lollipops just for himself. He saw two lollipops, wow, I get to make dad happy. So he asked for a third one to make mom happy too. To invoke humility in a child to me means that gratitude is required. It is as simple as that to see value in something and want someone else to experience that value too.